Hey guys, this is Simply Imaginary People, Frankie, and this is just a short tutorial on seams because I think a lot of people forget to look for seams and forget to fix them at the end of making clothing, and I see a lot of them on clothing, so I thought I'd just do a video tutorial on how to do this. So what you're going to need is milk shape, and you're going to need these, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm a bit sick, so I might cough, um, plugins which are linked on the tutorial hub resource page, the normal and vertex merge plugins. Just download both of them and then shove them in your milkshape folder. So yeah. And then in milkshape you can set it up with I don't remember where it is. Tools, edit shortcuts. And if you go down you'll see one called I will find it. There we go, nearly there. <sighs> Something about MS, I think. Okay. Here it says um, MSTS2 normal data merge, and mine is set to N, and then there is MSTS2 vertex data merge, mine is set to V. So, um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, seams, then this is a nice example. Um, these are ankle seams. So, seams pretty much happen where one part of the body meets another part of the body. Because, obviously, when you're making feet, you only have up to here. So, the game doesn't actually know that these legs exist, or this mesh doesn't know that these legs exist, and that it needs to be smooth going over um, the shading into this part of the leg. So, these are what are called normal seams, which means literally that the colouring or the shading on these legs, um, depending on how the light falls on them, doesn't fit. Then you've got what often happens is gaps. So you can see if I zoom in here, these little tiny dots around here, that means that there's just a tiny gap between it, and it means that pretty much the vertices on this bottom are not perfectly aligned with this top part, which gives us seams. And most of the time you'll find them on the back of the neck, like this, and you'll have this horrible, horrible line here. And demented hands, which seems to always happen. So, um, these seams usually happen if you do anything in milkshape to edit your bones. So if I just reassign one bone or delete a bone, then it'll randomly give me seams, especially with kids' clothes, I'm not sure how it's adults' clothes. So what you do is you make your mesh, you assign bones, you fix every single bone until you're 100% happy with how the bones are, then you fix the seams, and then you morph it. If you do it in any other order, it won't work. So, um, let's just take these shorties, let's see if I can find them. So, I'm going to import my clothing into Milkshape, so child, You'll see I haven't done the morphs on it yet. And it actually looks fine, but if I look on it here, you can see I've also got these wonderful ankle seams. Wait, let me just go to pants, I think, to show you. Also got these gorgeous ankle seams. So what I'm gonna do is the best way to make sure you need a reference that has fixed seams, because if you match it to a reference that also has seams, then obviously you're just going to get more seams. So the best way to do it is to export yourself a reference from the game. So just load TSRW, click create new project, go to clothing, next, pick the age gender you have, so human, child, female, naked, and click the naked category and wait for it to load. And we're doing bottom, so I need the new bottom. Just gonna load that. And you'll see, don't worry about this line, this always seems to still happen. But you'll see if I pan down to the bottom, no weird ankle seams. So I'm just gonna export the high level of that. I'm just gonna show it to downloads for a moment. I'm just gonna test. Keep these saved somewhere, like you only need to do this once. So export that, 
and then you can import it over your mesh. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these morphs because I don't need them. And then, this is the EA one, you need to move this up. So it needs to be the top group because that's the one it's going to match it to. And now all I'm going to do is I am going to select all the verts that are on the seam lines. So here it's pretty easy, I can just go to select and go like this. And also I need the anchor ones. And see, I did that too much. I actually selected half of the back of it. <coughs> oh, sorry. So that didn't work. Let's try and be really careful. See if I can get it. There we go. And then just go to edit, um, select invert, edit, right selection. And then just select one vert. It's usually good to have this on projection. Um, top and on just wireframe because then you can really easily see them. So I'm just going to select one and I'm going to press N and then V on my keyboard. And N, as remember, is what we assign the shortcut to the normal merge. So what it does is it assigns your mesh the same uh, normal, so the same kind of light shading as the EA one. And if I press V on my keyboard, then it makes sure that the vert is exactly the same position as the EA one. And I'm just going to go around and highlight everyone and press N and V on my keyboard. Now I'm only going to do it for half of them so that you can see the difference once I've imported it. So you should do it for every single one. And when you're done, pretend I've done all of them, you just delete the EA group because you don't need it. And you export yours again. And at this point you could if you're 100% sure you did it right already, um, let's put test two. Um, assign morphs or make morphs. So wait, where are we here? So there we go. Here's my mesh with the issues, <coughs> and I import it now. Yes, you'll see. So the side I fixed no longer has a seam. This one still has the seam because I didn't fix that one to show you. And you'll see if I now turn it. Here I've still got a gap. Here the side I fixed, no more lines. This weird line shading always seems to happen on paint, so ignore that. It kind of has more to do with the specular map than anything else. But you can see the difference. Like here there's no gap, here there's still a gap. So I guess the same thing I can do with the... So this is the one with the massive neck seam here. You can see I've got blinking bits and I'm on a wonderful seam. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. And I already have these exported so I don't need to do it again. And the new top the body and I'm going to move it up. And what I also like to do is um, you often see or you can't really see too well I zoom in here, the hands look really wonky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to joints. And I also usually do this in the same step. I'm just going to clear the hand joints. Okay, and I'm turning joints off again. And now to fixing the neck. If you've got a top like this top, which is actually a top, that doesn't, like, um, it fully covers the, the waistline, you don't need to fix the waist, obviously, because you only need to select... <coughs> verts that are the EA body, and I deleted all the EA body under this top, so I need to select the neck here. So again, edit, select, invert, edit, hide, selection, zoom in. If I have a top that <coughs> is like a crop top, then I also need to do the waistline. So pretty much top and bottom seams if they're, and the EA body is visible. So again, NB, NB, NB. It is a bit tedious, but it looks good in-game.
And again, this is the last step. If you need to edit bones again after this, then you probably have to redo this part. I do this for every single piece of clothing if I see seams or not, just to make sure. Okay, now that I fixed it, let me export it again. Give me an interesting download. Take it from that one. Right, so next seam and weird wonky hands. To fix the weird wonky hands, I go to Mesh Toolkit. Uh, I select my wonky one. As a reference, I'll select the new toddler top that I exported. And as fix my wonky one, and say replace only empty bones, do assignments, save over that, and it will replace the bone normals with the right one. That's why the hands are wonky. Don't know why it keeps messing that up. Import it. No. Okay. So press yes to that one. And you'll see, hands are now straight, no longer wonky hands, and I don't have an exe. So yeah, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys is, if you have like um, a top that kind of half covers and half doesn't cover, um, let's see if I can find it. Okay, so this one you can see, kind of. There's a tiny bit of EA body um, showing through here. So where I can see the EA body, these are the verts I'm going to have to select. So I select them in the 3D window because I can see it better. And all I'm doing is holding Shift and Alt. And on this you can see if you accidentally select more verts. So I usually just follow the line inside. Select the correct ones. Just keep going along and let's say I accidentally select you can see here this goes in a perfect circle around here and these ones I obviously accidentally reflect selected so I keep holding shift and alt and I use the right click and I just right draw a box around it with the right mouse click. so yeah so even if you have them kind of half covering it you still need to fix the seams on the bits that you have here um, it goes over the ankle so I don't need to fix the ankles yeah so <coughs> That's pretty much how to fix seams on clothing.